presence here is a testament to the collective commitment to advancing the global pension industry. As the Principal Executive Officer of the GEPF, it is my privilege to host such a distinguished gathering. Just speaking about the Russia-Ukraine war or, you know, the rising tensions in the Middle East, these issues do have significant repercussions for things like global supply chains, for things like inflation, and that can hit an economy like South Africa. Everyone's, I think, very aware of the, you know, the, the population story um, in Africa, the youth quake, the fact that you know, Africa in just, you know, a few short years and 25 years will have two and a half billion people. What is the objective? <laughs> is the objective solely about maximizing this lump sum at a point in time, which it has become <laughs> after the shift from DB to DC? If people are independently uh, taking care of themselves in retirement because they're part of a pension system and they've got these reliable sources, risk-adjusted returns coming in, they're not hanging on the kindness of strangers. So actually this is a very efficient way of dealing with part of our welfare needs. There was some data that, that was looked at around the failure rate of startups in Africa. Once a startup in Africa gets to Series A, the chance of them failing is actually less than the, de than the developed world because they're serving a real need. We talk about lack of engagement. We talk about the sort of the literacy gap, um, uh, lack of understanding, things of that nature. AI provides a really powerful way of, of changing the member experience. So investors have biases and they are not really learning that they have these biases and how to avoid them. That's also one of the reasons why I like um, defined benefit schemes. We have truly embodied our vision of fostering dialogue on the opportunities and challenges within the retirement industry. So let me thank you once more, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Stay safe, I thank you.